Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nuni, and that's Leo in the third house. Back with another read. This is gonna be another random read for another random side. Only we won't know for who until we shake up the dice. I mean, shake up the dice, till we shake up the jar and pick it at the very end. So, without doing too much talking, I'm just gonna get started with the reading. Let me get the overall energy. That was quick. Gemini energy. So we got third house. This is about communication. This is about uh, close friends or close family members who feel like family. You know what I mean? So this is like, you know, your intermediate family pretty much. You know, close family. Family who you get your identity from. All right. Oh, let's get this going. Let's see what else we got. But there's going to be some type of communication. This could do with your siblings. All right. There's something emotional here. So maybe you could be commu communicating feelings. This could be somebody being irate. Somebody could be frustrated. Let's see the energy you're going to need to be in to get the most out of the reading. Oh, revision. Commitment and recognition. So recognizing commitment. Recognizing emotional needs. You know, recognizing uh, what's needed here. Some type of recognition is going to be here. There's going to be some type of revision. So some type of mental or verbal re uh, revision is going to be happening here about your feelings and emotions. And it's a very intense situation. I don't know why I jumped back into that. That didn't need to be happening. So what are we dealing with here? So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or you could be dealing with somebody who's an orator or somebody from your childhood. Someone who's been close to you. You know, they could feel like family. You know, this could be like a friend. This could even be a lover that you've known for a while. You know, they feel like family. This is That's that's like the energy of it. And it's a commitment. You know, so there's a lot of emotions, a lot of intensity here. And so there's something that needs to be recognized, you know. Or revised. Something about it needs to be fixed. You know, so here we go. There's a revoked offer, Knight of Pentacles. Someone may feel like they're owed an apology. Could be a Leo. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Could be you who's the water sign because we have the two of cups here in reverse. So there's some type of um, breakup. And then someone was arguing. There's a fight here. Well, not a fight, but there's a disagreement. And someone needs to get some time out to kind of reassess the situation someone is trying to see maybe where they went wrong because we have the hangman here the hangman here is about trying to gain more information you know with this third house information with this third house the communication this could be also about trying to get more information about your feelings and try to recognize what it is that you're truly feeling so that you can communicate it now you start off here with this uh ace of wands coming into the reading and feeling a bit um lethargic I'm feeling like more like worn out because I got the five of swords here as well I got the ten of swords I got the nine of swords and I got the two of wands so there's an energy of being impatient feeling like you may need to walk away from the situation and not sure if it's, it's if, if, if you're doing the right thing by walking away you know so you may be just overthinking it you know so you get you go between this energy of okay I'm calling an end to it but then in the same time thinking about it stressing about it worrying about it you know and this is the energy of not wanting to compromise you know not really feeling like you're you're being met halfway and so you may be you know rejecting an offer you could be rejecting an offer somebody might get blocked that kind of feels like what's going on here you may just be focusing on work and health and wealth with this queen of pentacles you know you may get into that selfish energy of worrying about just me getting into that um I think of it as Virgo energy. So Virgo, I think it was the hermit. And so that's what it feels like. It feels like you might go into like a hermit mode. There is no hermit here, but it feels like you may go into a hermit mode. But in the, in, in your in your mind and in your subconscious, not your subconscious, in your mind and in your conscious mind, what you really would like to do is maybe be spying, maybe get some more information, gain clarity. You would like this to be illuminated. You know, you really want to have fun. There was like was there was an intent to enjoy yourself here. It was like a big intent to enjoy yourself. That's really what I feel like, you know, but I feel like it ended in either a betrayal or someone letting you down. You know, maybe people were talking about you or you were talking about other people or there was a disagreement. There's definitely some type of disagreement that made you want to kind of like restrict yourself or pull back and only focus on you, you know, and it came from this energy of, of maybe being impatient and kind of like wanting this situation to just hurry up and be over. You know, and the advice is for you to call a quit to it, to end it, you know, to go ahead and just shut this situation down. Let's get a, um, let's get clarification on the Ten of Swords. But that's the advice here is like just closing this situation now. You know, someone, you already started, if this is, if this is you, you've already started with uh, revoking your offer, taking your feelings back, you know, 
Um, you might even be feeling like you're letting your emotions get the best of you right about now. And that might be why you're focusing on more practical matters, things that you can control in the physical, things you can control here in, you know, in, your, in your physical reality as opposed to your emotional or mental. You know, you may just be working, health, food, eating out. Yeah, because ending because of the King of Cups. There's emotional manipulation going on here. Someone's emotionally unavailable. You know, they may be just playing with your feelings. They're not being genuine. Um, let's see what else we got here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. Ten of Swords reversed here. To clarify the sun. Yeah. Was it Six of Wands? Yeah. This is, this is, all right. So they're really just playing on your confidence here is what I'm getting. They're playing on your confidence. They're playing on your ability to not walk away with the Eight of Cups and to be attached to them. So this may be like a sexual connection or something having to do with a, maybe like, um, this earthly pleasures, you know, maybe they're very attractive. Maybe you're just very sexually attracted to them. Maybe you're bonding with them or you bond it with them. You know, with the devil and the eight of cups, I sometimes pick up like a codependency issue of feeling like you need them, or it's just a very strong attraction here. Cause the ace of wands started out here too. And even though it's in reverse, there's still an attraction here. It's just not a big enthusiasm to move forward, you know, and, and wanting to take your feelings back. And it can come off as emotional manipulative when you're just focusing on you and now you're you're like, ah, never mind. I don't want to do this no more. I'm cool. So it comes off as emotional manipulation. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be dealing with a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and that's what we got. Oh, we could be dealing with the Ace of Pentacles. It's not really a fire sign. I mean, it's fire sign energy, but I don't feel like it's a big fire sign energy. They could be, but this person is more manipulative and more, um, uh, they're more full of themselves. You know, they're more, they're more full of themselves than they should be. They're kind of like over cocky, overconfident, you know, when at this time I don't really feel like they should be, you know, with this eight of wands. They just, they just. It's a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of misinterpretations. So they're very crafty with their words and what they say or how they say it. And that's probably what's confusing here. You know, that's how they're able to keep you here. So really you want to get more clarity with this page of wands. And you may, you just may, you may start asking questions. So let's just see, because I didn't see what these are. So let's just see what this probably would be. I'm going to say solar plexus. Solar plexus, and I see a lot of purple. So we're going to say solar plexus, and we're going to say uh, crown chakra. Let's see. Nope, but we got solar plexus and heart chakra. Okay, so you're going to be expelling things with grace, all right? Letting go of this with grace, all right? And so you may be feeling like you're being taken over or like, you know, like you're like you're being invaded or like, you know, someone's taking over your space or like, uh, or you're not able to basically stand your ground at this time like someone's overpowering you you may feel like you're being overpowered with the devil energy here and right next clarifying the eight of cups that's the energy of someone feeling like they have control over you some type of either emotional control sexual control or psychological control some type of control here where they place themselves on a pedestal and are treating you as less than but you won't leave it you know what i mean it just has you stuck into it and so it's advising you to let this go, to release the feelings and emotions that you have for this because they're playing with your feelings or they're playing with your emotions here. All right. And so you may feel, you may think that they're, because they may have other people around. And so it says, what do they have that I don't? So you may be comparing yourself or in the energy of feeling not good enough or feeling like um, you should have gotten more, you know, because the energy of a breakup or energy of not compromising, of not sharing the same attraction or not sharing the same emotional sentiments is around and that's what's causing a worry and stir in you you fluctuate between being over it and going back into it and then being over it and then going back into it and so here what you're learning is a personal power and learning not to bash yourself or hold yourself in the energy of shame regret and resentment and with the heart chakra, this is what this is. It's allowing you to process that and move on. And with the solar plexus, this is about you choosing you and being authentic to who you are. This is about making the most authentic choice to choose to put yourself first. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. It's about putting yourself first in this moment. And so you may be communicating shortly or may have the intention of communicating um, that you may be cutting someone off or that you have become clear with your intentions now or you're very clear and direct 
about what it is that you intend to do because you have a fear of leaving this situation as if you made a bad decision. And I told you um, I seen the Ace of Wands on the last deck as being, I'm not the Ace of Wands, the uh, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck as being a, uh, you know, the mis mis misinterpretation or miscommunication, you know, feeling like maybe you're making a hasty decision. If you walk away, you don't know if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing or the adult thing or the childish thing. And so it's just, it's already gave you the advice to let this go. You need to recognize your emotional needs at this moment within relationships. All right. And this is needing you to revise this because you'll be third house represents, you know, the way you were taught to see yourself in the world and from childhood through close family and acquaintances it's called your neighborhood to astrologers so this relationship has probably played on to a because i'm seeing black here for me and black has to do with your shadow side or darker aspects of yourself that you're not quite aware of and so this is probably what this is calling attention to and you needing to revise that become consciously aware of that and recognizing that when it comes to relationships that you have a propensity for doing this and that's probably what this is calling attention to and so the advice here is to end this because, you know, this is a bad situation. There's a lot of treachery. There's a lot of deceit. There's a lot of betrayal. There's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of, you know, and this is more so with them just playing with your feelings and emotions. So it says, allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find perfection in yourself and those around you. As you align with the frequency of peace, the invasions from outside yourself and dissonance within are neutralized. So this is you just trusting in your own inner voice, trusting in your own inner guidance. This isn't intuition. This is trusting in your heart and just going with your instinct at this moment, going with what you feel, trusting it that it's in your best interest to do what's best for you and just moving forward, you know, because this isn't working for you and just kind of release this with grace, you know, do your best to keep your head up and move along. Okay, so let's get the advice. Let's get the advice for this. So, first card out was compassion. Dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender to critic the self criticism that fear. Oh, excuse me. Surrender to self criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. And then you have trust. Trust. You are looking at this situation from a purely physical perspective, and therefore you cannot see the bigger picture and the blessings interwoven within this event. We, your angels, urge you to trust for all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear and apprehension and allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. So let's see who this reading is for. That sounds like a Scorpio read, but we're going to see. You hear my dog snoring in the back? Aquarius. Okay. Did not see that coming. Okay. Well, Aquarius, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house.